Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create a smooth video inside video animation in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about animating in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create new project. I will name it as video through. Click OK. Now we will drag our two stock videos onto our project panel like this. I will take this television stock video and place it on our sequence panel to create new sequence. Here we have this video of an old TV with a lot of flickering and shuttering going on the screen. We will place our video inside this TV screen and create a go through animation on it. I will delete half of our video for this tutorial purpose. Drag this video layer to above track. Take the second stock video and place it below our first video. Place it 3 second after the first video. We don't need this audio so we will delete it. Right click on it and select on link, press backspace to delete it. Here we have this dancing video of a two people. We will place this video inside our TV. Place the indicator at the start of second video. Select the first layer and go to Effects Control Panel. Click on the Pen tool. Zoom in on our preview to have a good closer look to create a mask. Just start making a line using the Pen tool along the edge of our TV screen. Take your time and do it slowly to make it more realistic. Join the pen line like this. As you see the moment we joined our line a mask is created. Our mask only displays what's inside this joined line, which is our TV screen. We will do the opposite. We will hide our screen and make our TV visible. Go to mask and click on the invert checkbox. As you see we now have a hole on our TV screen and because of that, our video in below layer is showing inside it. Select our first layer and decrease its scale and position to fit our video perfectly. Use the rotation tool to adjust it. Now let's play it. That looks perfect. Now we will start animating our TV transition. Place the indicator at 3 second from the start of our first layer. Keyframe the scale. Place the indicator 1 second after our first keyframe. Now increase the scale until you can't see our TV. If I move, you can see that our zooming out scale animation is created. We will rotate our video from tilted position to normal position. Now keyframe the rotation. Now take this keyframe and place it at the end of our scale keyframe. Place the indicator at the first keyframe and change the rotation to zero. If I play it, 
as you see our TV zooms out while changing to straight view because of the rotation. Our animation is little slow, to increase that we will drag both of the last keyframe little closer to make our animation fast. If I move our indicator to the front, you can see that our TV screen is empty and it looks not good. We will fix that and add more detailing to our animation to make it look more dynamic. Hold Alt on your keyboard and drag this layer above like this to duplicate it. Select the duplicated layer, delete the mask in the effects control panel. We will add some transition to make our video appear on the TV screen more naturally. For that we will right click at the edge and select default transition. Our default transition is cross dissolve. You can find this in the effects presets panel. Trim the transition a little. Select the middle layer and change the blend mode in effects control panel. Change it to soft light. As you see now our video looks more blended with our TV screen. The flickering and shuttering gives it more dynamic. Now let's move on to animating our video. Click on the first layer and go to effects control panel. Make sure that the indicator is at the same position as our first zoom out keyframe. Keyframe the scale position and rotation. Now again place the indicator where our last keyframe of the zoom out is. Now by using the keyframes we will align our video. Click on the reset icon to bring our video back to its original size. We will increase the size a little to make it fit. Now we will adjust the scale position and rotation frame by frame. By this way our animation will looks amazing. Use the arrow key to move the indicator frame by frame. Once our video resized to its original point after our zoom out happens, we have to change the blend mode to its original color. To do that select our middle layer where our blend mode is in soft light. In the effects control panel keyframe the opacity. Move the indicator a little to the right and change the opacity to zero. Place the keyframe at the same time as our scale and rotation keyframe. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super good. We now animated our dancing video and fine-tuned it well with our zoom out TV video. That looks perfect. As you see because of the opacity our video makes that smooth transition from soft light to normal. We will add one last effect to make it look complete. Select the top layer and go to effects panel. Type in directional blur. Drag it and place it on top of our layer. Go to effects control panel. Make sure our indicator is at the same time as our rotation and scale. Keyframe the blur length and direction. Move the indicator 3 frames and change the blur length to 20. As you see our blur is applied, in a direction from up to down. We will change the direction from side to side. Increase the direction a little to get the direction we need. Now place the keyframes at the same time position as our rotation keyframe is. Now let's play the final effect and see how it looks. That looks super awesome. We now created that video inside video effect and animated it. You can use this project file and learn more about this effects along with the stock footages. Go to this pay hip link, 
which is in the description. You can buy this project file along with stock videos for just one dollar. Consider this as, supporting my work. I will be super grateful to you. You can learn lot more about this effect that I didn't teach in this tutorial. Just click on this buy button and you can use any cards to buy it. It's super simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Payhip and Patreon, link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.